welcome back to our sustainable journey. I'm Steve. Uh, today, let's talk about the weather. Um, it's been raining all week. This is actually the nicest it's been, and it's freezing today. <clears throat> it. Uh... I thought I saw something. Um, it rained all week. It snowed yesterday. Thankfully, you can see it didn't actually collect anywhere, which is good. The cows are very hungry, apparently. Um, so we'll feed them in a second. But I wanted to check out the worms because it has been raining and these bins don't exactly seal right. Some of them, I mean, some of them seal just fine, but some of these don't. And so, oh, there's still food in there, and it's not too wet. So with the way these bins are set up, they don't have the drainage that my other bins have. And so we have to constantly monitor them to make sure that they're not getting too wet. And what have you, see, dry, nice and dry. Crackers. And the bees are checking them out too. So it's a nice day for flying. Um, so it takes a lot more work in these bins to make sure everybody's healthy and happy and all that stuff. So let me get a, um, tool so I can dig around a little bit in these bins to see what these worms are up to. Oh my god, mud is everywhere. Seems it's never going to end. And then we have the worms in here. Right over there, against the wall. Um, it seemed to be doing well. They they got kept out of the cold and everything, which is good. Why are you following me? What? What? Um, let me grab a bigger tool. Okay. See, you come out here and it looks like it's gonna be so nice, but it's like 34 degrees or something today. It's cold. All right. So, let's see what we have. Well, let me start with the small. Oh, we gotta dig through this paper. You can see, there's all the worms. Oh boy, they're not gonna be happy that I'm doing this. <clears throat> you can see. They're doing fine. Okay. I was worried with these temperatures fluctuating like crazy that we'd have some problems. But these bins do really well um, protecting the worms from the elements. So, let's see if I can. I just saw a bunch. There we go. Okay. All right. Everybody's happy and healthy. Looks like they need more food, though. I'm going to burn through this. Um, what's left of this straw in no time? There's a little bit. I guess there's pepper. Pepper. Oh, there we go. There's Okay, there's still avocados and stuff. Yeah, see, you can see them all just chilling in the avocados. Okay. All right. So, I spend a lot more time checking on them than I normally would in my bins. Um, because, like I said, there's no drainage. So, you want to make sure that these aren't... If you're using something like this, um, that they're not getting too wet when it's outside like this. Because you can see, like, there's a hole where water can just fill it up. But they seem to be doing all right. So let me grab this. They're like a dollar at Menards. I think I recommend these like every time you guys see me using them. Because they're great. I use them for all my bins. 
Alright, this one actually feels dry. Interesting. It's a little dry. Oh no, it's wet over there. Okay, so it's dry in spots. <clears throat> There's all the worms. I guess they found the, the wettest area of the bin. And the hardest to reach area of the bin. But there's. Oh, it is real wet down there. Alright. It's interesting. In one bin, you can have a really wet side and a really dry side. So. Dig out this middle area. See one of these little avocado. It's, that's where they're gonna be. All right, come on, guys. Where'd you go? That is wetter in the bottom. All right. Well, then I won't worry about it. And I'll just leave the top to be dry and the bottom to be wet. I know there's worms in there. So we saw some. I was worried that the rain would get in there and absolutely soak it. These ones should be fine because these have the these are the newer ones with the better lids. All the way down. Okay. Yeah, let's see. Worm party. That's good. Nice and easy. They've got plenty of food in this one. So, the other thing that I need to watch out for <clears throat> this summer, with these being outside, is black soldier flies. So, black soldier flies aren't, aren't bad, they're good for your bins. They're good for compost, I guess. Um, not necessarily for your bins because they like it hot. So we see them over on the, the regular compost piles. Um, sometimes they get into our bins and we need to be careful because they can heat it up and the other worms don't like that and it creates a less than optimal environment. So we're always watching for black soldier flies on there. Oh yeah, they're all eating lettuce. Of course they are. Oh, I wouldn't show. Nice worm salad. Okay, cool. So this one doesn't need food. So that's plenty. I may give them a few scoops just so they have something in case they run out. The other thing is with this weather, with it being cold and rainy, um, they're not as active. So they're not eating as much as they normally would. Because they just kind of go dormant when it gets cold like that. Alright. You know, I always put this thing down and then I always forget where I put it. Alright, so let's see. This one seems to be a little dry on top. Oh, no, there's, there's the worms right there. Alright. Don't have to go too far. This old newspaper that I threw in here to insulate them a little bit. Make sure that they were happy because I knew this weather was coming so I prepared uh, the middle there the other thing we're always worth watching out for oh, see there they are. Oh, they're loving the newspaper um, <laughs> I was interrupted a giant worm party right there. Um, other things to watch out for out here are rodents. Um, mice love this because there's food, there's shelter, everything you could ever want. Um, so that's another reason I kind of dig aggressively 
to make sure that there aren't any rodents in there. Because then I can see them because they will scurry off. All right, last one. Water coming off of it. This is the one that always has trouble with water. So I always put extra newspapers and bedding material in there. Dry up here, and it gets wetter and wetter and wetter the deeper we go. more food and bedding, I think. I forget where all the worms are. There we go. That's what they are. Nice big fat juicy worms. Look at those guys. They're going great. Alright. Oh, there we go. I found them all. On the bottom. Right here. Look at them. There you go. So, they seem to be doing well. Um, but yeah, it's a little dry. So, we get some moisture in there, get some get some food scraps or something in there. Sprinkle it on top, wet all this down a little bit. Little crackers. <laughs> um, so, speaking of weather, this coming week, Monday, Monday. In Illinois, we're having a full solar eclipse. And people ask, what, what about the animals? And the thing is, the animals have been around longer than we have. And uh, as far as chickens are concerned, they may try and roost or go to bed early. The cows won't care. They'll just relax and go to sleep. The dogs will probably freak out a little bit because they, that's what they do. Um, but the worms will be fine. They won't know any better. They don't like the sunlight anyway, so they'll probably be happier with uh, a solar eclipse. But yeah, that's Monday. I don't remember what time. I think it's southern Illinois where it's really the full effect. I think we're only going to get a partial. Um, but, I don't know, it's not that exciting. I've seen nighttime before. Oh, all right, are you saying hi? There's a bee on you. She's just curious. So, so yeah, so we've got that going on this week. Um, it'll probably, it's probably just mean the chickens are gonna Go running inside instead of hanging out out here but we'll see what comes of it it should be pretty pretty boring on the farm as far as um events go i think the weather that we've had the last week has been more exciting than a solar eclipse but anyway anyway i'm going on and on um so there you go worms did fine with this ridiculous weather. I think it's supposed to warm up next week, which is good. Um, and I keep contemplating moving these closer to the compost pile, but I kind of like having them here. It's easier, easier when they're closer to the house than way out there. But we'll see. I also don't want them too close to the bees. Because then when I'm checking on them, if there's water in there, the bees like the, to drink the, the water that sits on top of these lids. Um, and it's kind of a pain in the butt to check on them when there's bees flying all over the place trying to get to the water. So I may leave them here. Maybe I'll set up a decoy or something for the bees so that they have a water source. 
But yeah, that'll do it for us. I'm gonna get these, get some of these fed and uh, we'll see you all next time. All right, take care.